I don't even want to know what you guys are talking about. All right, we got we got more important business. We got <laughs> Mr. <laughs> we got Anson Williams on hold. Let's bring him on. This guy, Good come man. on. If if you don't know Anson Williams, you haven't breathed a breath of air. Let's welcome the one, the only Anson Williams to Totally Driven Radio. How you doing, Anson? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Now I, I gotta, I'm going I'm going to quiz you first. I want to see if you remember me because you're going to be like, uh oh. Chiller no, Theater I... last year. What's that? Say that again. At Chiller Theater last year in New Jersey. Right. Okay. It was the last day of the uh, the convention, and I came up to meet you, and I went to get a picture signed and a picture with you and Donnie Most. Right. And then I had to go over to the separate thing and go pay to and pick out a picture and all. So while I'm doing that, here – you were speaking to my wife, and my wife informs you. You, you must. You ask my wife, um, what can I talk to him about? And my wife says, <clears throat> oh, he's thinking about getting gastric bypass surgery. Right. So I, I come back. I get my picture signed. We talk. <clears throat> I go to get a picture with you and Donnie. And I'm standing behind the table, and you turn to me and said, you don't want to get gastric bypass. Just lose weight. And right. I was completely mortified. I'm thinking, I like, I'm thinking to myself, "Oh my God, I am that fat that Anson Williams just turned to me out of the blue and told me to <laughs> lose weight." I had no idea my wife and you had talked beforehand. Oh my I gosh, was, I remember. Co- oh wow. <laughs> I was completely. Maybe I, mean, I guess I should have been a little more subtle. <laughs> <laughs> I care I about so people. Mortified. I care about people, you know? It, well, it's funny because we had Donnie on the show a few months ago, and I'm telling him the story, and that's what he said. He said, Anson really cares about people. He tries to motivate people. So yeah, I, I do. didn't know. I didn't know that you guys talked until I got home. So it was over a two-hour drive to get home. The whole ride home, like, I couldn't even talk. Like, I just kept thinking to myself, oh, my Lord, like, Wow. Like, and I'm fighting with myself in my head. I'm like, Anton's such a good guy. He really, really cared. And that took a lot for him to turn around and say that to me. I really got to lose weight. And I'm just, I'm like, the whole time in my head, like, I'm just so fighting with myself. And then I said to my wife, finally, we get home and we're talking about it. And I said, I just can't believe he said that to me. She said, oh, I told him. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's totally like. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, but I remember. Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, I okay, so so let me ask you: Did you have the operation? I'll tell you what. I started literally going through the process, and yeah. I was going through all the, the the doctor meetings and checkups, the shrink checkup. I had all that done. I got to the point where my first uh, uh, appointment with the nutritionist, and at that right. point, I said, "No, this is just good for you." Stupid now. Because I said to myself, like, she, she said, the, the thing that it, she said was, she held her fist up and she said, each one of your meals will consist of, your plate will be that size of food. And I said to her, I said, well, if I'm eating a fist size of food for a meal, well, naturally I'm going to lose weight. Why do I need you to, to cut me open and operate on me? I said, it doesn't make sense. Right, right. So at that point. Well, good I said, for you. Well, uh, I, I didn't. No, it, that's that stuff. It, you know, you're just you're just opening yourself up for more problems. Yeah. Good totally. for you. Totally. So and, and then well, I, yeah, I get you, the well, I get emailed from uh, from your PR Harlan, who I deal with a lot. And then when right? he, he said you wrote this book, I was like, this is just too funny. Like, how perfect is this? Like that you now wrote this book, the the, the per- perfect portion cookbook. Yeah, well, it, well, it's so interesting. It was in, when I was speaking with you, right? When you saw me, we were in right. the process of all this because it took two years. Oh wow! And I didn't really. I wrote kind of the fun stuff of the book. Okay. The really important part of the book was written by uh, Bob Warden, who people might know from QVC. He's very famous. Okay. Uh, he's a great chef. Uh, he's a great inventor of um, so many. Um, cooking utensils or whatever. He's a, he's a cookbook, New York Times best-selling author. 
and his partner is a woman by the name of Mona Dolgov, who's a graduate of Cornell University in nutrition. And Anyway, they're experts in the food area. Huh. And uh, so um, I'll, I'll get to, I'll, I'll, if you have time, I'll tell you the history of how this absolutely. all happened. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, I, the reason I was so sensitive to you and not getting surgery and all that is because before you met me, quite a few months, uh, maybe a year, I, you know, I'm directing Secret Life of the American Teenager. And, uh, you know, on, on uh, film sets, there's always an area called craft service. Yes. Which is food all day long. Mm hmm And this particular show had very yummy food all day long. All day <laughs> long. Oh, all day long. I mean, oh, stop already, right? I mean, everything that smells wonderful, tastes wonderful, is ba and is bad for you was put on that table. And, uh, you, know, it, you know, when you direct and it, it's a long day and... And, and it gets kind of frustrating. And I, I probably walk past that table 82 times a day, and I would take a little bit 82 times a day. <laughs> well, 24 to 30 pounds later of 82 times a day, I was not in good shape. I looked terrible. I felt terrible. Um, and it, it wasn't a way to live. It was a way to die. And, and I'm thinking, I have you know, four kids still at the house. I, I can't. I can't go on like this, but... I've got to get wow. control of myself. I've got to get control of myself. And, but diets don't work and all these stupid food programs out there with, with, uh, with foods that take, they taste like cardboard and you've got to be a physicist to figure out the calorie count, right? Right. I go, right. that's stupid. I th food is a very, like you know, food is a very import important part of your life. Yes. Dining and taste, and it is a very important part of your life. It, you, you don't want to deny yourself that. But how right. can I eat what I love and not overeat? That was my challenge. And I went to my business partner, Joanna Cannell. Just to backtrack, yes, I've been in the entertainment business, and I've been directing a lot, but for 19 years I've also been in the product business. And I started in business, in, excuse me, I started in beauty uh, with Joanna, and we expanded okay. into so many areas of commerce in terms of creating products that are problem solvers for people. We don't do products that do not solve a problem. And a lot, of oh. time, a lot of the times, the products will come from, from our own lives. Well, I, 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 this was a problem. And she said that it really is a problem. We know nothing about it. I said, you're right. But let's just kind of keep it on the back burner. And lightning struck when I was, I was at our local supermarket. Okay. And everyone, everyone buys these 100-calorie portion snacks, right? Right, right. It's like thousands, 100-calorie Nabisco this, 100-calorie this, 100-calorie, all 100-calorie portions, right? And Correct. I'm going, well, everybody understands 100-calorie. Everyone gets that. And then I'm thinking, what if we, what, and I'm, oh, it just hit me like crazy. Well, wait a minute. I don't know a lot about food and the science of food and nutrition and all, but I do know what I love. What if, what if you can have the food you absolutely love lasagna french toast chicken fried steak cheesecake key lime pie you know meatloaf mac and cheese on and on what if you can have these foods what if you can keep the same taste make the make the recipe a little healthier and then figure out a system where it's just a no-brainer for perfect 100 calorie portions that right. are a little bigger so say you want a 300-calorie portion of mac and cheese. You go, oh, one, two, three. Oh, I got it. And it fills a plate, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not the little fifth you're talking about. It's a satisfying meal with something you absolutely love. Well, my business partner thought it was a great idea. Because we were on QVC for so many years, we did make friends, and one of our friends was Robert Warden, who, like I, w I said, is the food guru at QVC. We went to Robert, we went to, and his partner, Mona, and he said, if we can figure this out, it will be the most amazing portion control system in the history of the food business. And I it agree. took two years. And it took two years. And what we, and what, and what we created, 150 of the most yummy, most popular comfort foods in the United States. I mean, you name it, chicken pot pie, meatloaf,
chicken piccata, chicken cordon bleu, um, French toast, you know, um, 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 enchilada, enchiladas. Um, oh, you, I mean, unbelievable, uh, chocolate covered pretzels. I mean, everything in the kitchen sink. They figured, and they, they, made, they made the recipes healthier, amazingly great, yummy taste in exactly 100 calorie portions. And the book's called, you know, The Perfect Portion Cookbook using the 100 calorie count. And I don't know if you have a copy in front of you. No, I don't. Oh, shucks. Well, then, I apologize. You, sh- you should have a – but if, if you go to theperfectportion.com. Okay. The, if you go to theperfectportion.com, it'll sh- that's the cookbook site. You'll see all the history of it, how it was created, and, a, and all these wonderful recipes, especially for Super Bowl Sunday coming up. And, um, and uh, also, actually, if anyone wants the book, it premieres, on, it premieres and launches on QVC this Super Bowl Sunday – but if you buy it now, you save a lot of money. Oh, and, uh, how about that? That's all, that's all <laughs> on the website. Anyway, it, so what I'm saying for you, this will, this will I, I just solved your problem. I didn't. Mona, Robert, and I have solved your problem. You get this cookbook, you. You, will lose, you will lose weight. It will, you will never be on a diet again, ever. And you will, be, you will have foods you never thought – Food you never thought could, you could eat. And as far as the results, I was the guinea pig, right? Not only did, did they educate me on food and eating right and all that, I'm eating foods I never thought I could eat. I'm having one of the most fabulous you, you know, eating experiences of my entire life. I never thought I could eat. I thought, well, I've got to stay away from these foods. No, I can eat these foods and have this wonderful eating experience with my family and friends or whatever. And those 24 and 30 pounds, they're gone, man. I'm like, I, don't, I am like, my, I am like tight and happening, you know, so. <laughs> now, I think this, honestly, I think this is like pure genius. I, I really do because, I mean, you met me. I'm a big guy. I've always been a heavy yeah. guy. Um, and actually, <laughs> my, my co-host here, uh, Nick, and uh, and Moondog, uh, we're all guys that struggle with weight. And I know personally, yeah. and I'm sure they can say the same thing, whenever we've sat there and n- not going through, like, these crazy fad diets or whatever, but whenever you oh. do just properly eat the proper portion, you lose weight. <laughs> That's oh, the no, you but, 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 here, but the key is, and here's the genius, really, of Robert and Mona. <clears throat> it's, it's creating foods. That you that you're gonna go. Oh my God! It's the oh my! I love this, right? And be able to make a calorie count where you can like easily know exactly what you're eating, right? And even though it's a low count, it's a major portion. So you're satisfied, and that's the key. And that will cure obesity in this country. Totally will cure it. Because once you're you satisfied what. with the taste and the portion, you don't overeat. It's when you're unsatisfied that you overeat. Right. I'm telling you. You, you, you can have French toast for breakfast with all sorts of ancillaries. You can have a chicken pot pie for lunch with a salad, with a dessert, and you can have um, an enchilada plate for dinner with a salad, two desserts, and, an aunt, and, and, and a side of vegetables and a side of this, and three snacks a day. And, wow. and just drop weight like crazy and... Be so healthy, look so great, and you will. And, and it, there's the the word diet is not even. It's not a diet. No. It's a lifestyle. It's eating correctly with correct portion control. But the portion control is satisfying for your needs. And there's nothing else out there. There's nothing else out there. This solves the problem. And honestly, I give all the credit, all the credit to Robert and Mona, because. You know, even though it was my idea and Joanna's idea, and we, an idea is great, but it has to be executed. And as an right. entrepreneur, you got to bring. As an entrepreneur, there's no ego. You bring in the right people to make it work. Sure. And that's what we did. So I'm just so proud of them for figuring this whole system out that makes it so brainless for everybody. Because listen, I am no foodie. I am a foodie now. I can cook 90% of the recipes in that book. Which is unheard of. That's how I was easy. Say, it is. Do you cook them? Are, are, are you now? I do. Oh my God, my kids are. 
we ha- oh my god like the french toast the french toast is the most delicious french toast you would ever have in life right if you're on a diet can you have french toast oh i can't have french toast you can have it every day if you want every <laughs> slice of french toast and i won't get into the secret of it because it's in the book right it's exactly 100 calories wow okay three pieces turn you are like so satisfied it is so delicious and my kids that's what they want. Oh my! Oh, Dad, make the French toast. I'm a hero now. I, I, I'm doing these recipes. <laughs> and I, I, it looks like it looks like I'm Wolfgang Puck, you know. <laughs> and, and I'm like I'm an amateur, but those the book makes me look good because every recipe is well not every but the percentage of recipes are seven ingredients or less, okay. and we try to make make it where all the ingredients are pretty much what you have in your cabinet, in your refrigerator, so you don't, it's not like so specific, you have to go out for special things, we didn't want that, we want to make everything very accessible, and so, I tell you, you, you look, I, honestly, I look like, I look like a hero, oh, my dad <laughs> cooks, oh, my dad's a great cook, I'm not a great cook, I have a, I, I have a great book, <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what's your favorite uh, food out of there? Out of the book, or yeah. my favorite food? Yeah, out of the book. Oh, oh, out of the oh, out of the book. Um, gosh, there's so many great things. But but, okay, I love. I, maybe like you, I love comfort foods. Mhm. You know, I just love yummy, warm comfort foods. Mhm. So when you talk about comfort foods, I think of chicken pot pie. Okay. Which is like usually terrible for you. The chicken pot pie in this book is like. So delicious. And Bob Warden, the other author, his mother's, it's his mother's recipe oh, wow. that he redid to make it into our calorie situation. And everyone says it's better than the original recipe. This chicken pot pie will knock your socks off. And you have a 300 calorie portion of this chicken pot pie, you can't finish it. It's so oh. delicious. And the way he created, in terms of the crust and all that, it's so creative the way they designed it to make it work within a calorie count. Oh my! And and, and who, you don't even care. It's just delicious. And the other one, dude, mac and cheese, <laughs> macaroni and cheese, and they created this mac recipe that's like out of this world, man, out of this world. I'll and you, you can what, have three, four hundred the... calories of it within your day. It is so delicious, and and and. Very healthy for you. I was watching the uh, the video. There's some uh, recipe videos on on the site as well, and I was watching uh, some of them earlier. And I was <laughs> hypnotized by the chili. <laughs> oh, that's Mona's chili. Oh, that's just that. I, I would say that's okay. That's the number third favorite. And for Super Bowl coming up, that's the one. That, it is so delicious. It is so yummy. And and you, and you can eat a ton of it. With you know, and, 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 and I mean, a hundred calorie cup of this is nice. You can have one, two, three hundred calorie cups, but you know exactly your calorie count. Honestly, we we recommend like eighteen hundred calorie a day for people, right? Okay. Which doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like a lot. Let me tell you, you put you put those eighteen hundred calories on a table with the food you can eat. It like covers a table. It's like it's like huge amounts of food. Wow. It's not only huge amounts of foods, it's not Weight Watchers, it's not Nutrisystems, it's not Jenny Craig and all that crap. It tastes like cardboard. and what, It is delicious, yummy American it, yeah, food. It, not it's real food. But I mean, <laughs> it's food, baby. And you're, and you, you're going to go, yeah. And you're going to lose weight and you're going to look great. And I'll never be on a diet again. Now... Um, are you going to be on QVC this weekend doing this? Or? I am. I'm going to be on there, too. Are we you launched... going to be in the studio? I will be. The studio is 20 I minutes will be from my studio. house. What's that? It's 20 minutes from my house. Well, come by. Wow. All right. I'll come by. Me... Very nice. Come by. This might be on there, but you know, you know Harlan? Yeah. Talk to Harlan, and he'll set it up. Okay. Yeah. We cool. I, we go um, in the kitchen with David goes on um, at 
noon Eastern Standard Time. Okay. And then we do some promos and this and that, and then we're and we're, we're the cookbook for the show. And then uh, and then between twelve and two we do our we do our um, our sell. Nice. Very very cool. Look at that. Now, did you ever think you'd be writing your, uh, helping write a cookbook? <laughs> Never in my life, but you know, but I've learned never limit yourself. But fun, it's funny as an entrepreneur, I've gotten in so many areas I never thought I, I would be in, from beauty to medical to to so many different areas. Uh, I, I, I I don't I don't define who I am or what I can do. I just go with my gut and what what feels right. And if there if there's if there's something that that I think can improve people's lives and. And there's not and there's not something else out there that does it. I'm going to get involved in, and what I don't know, I'll find someone that does know, and we'll figure wow. it out, and we'll get it to the marketplace. So, so this was, and, and honestly, and not not only have we made this amazingly successful cookbook, but more importantly, I've looked better than I have in my life. I feel better than I have in my life. I've lost all that weight. And I'm moving forward, and I'm the guinea pig for everyone else listening, you know? <laughs> you got to be the guinea pig for food. How, how beautiful is that? I am. I am the guinea pig. You know, I am. If it worked for me, it'll work for, for – it'll work for – trust me, it'll work for everybody. Because I'm an every man and every woman. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm you. It's like I, you know, you know, I'm not a genius. I, I you know, I, I work hard to, to get things done or whatever, and, and believe me, if this book works for me, it works for you. Well, I'm going to do it. I, I, oh no, I'm you'll you'll. You. Oh no, you I'm will do it. You will do it, and you're and you and you're going to rave about it. Now, how about the again? Which Super Bowl coming up Sunday? Another big food is, and I saw it's on there. Buffalo wings. Mm-hmm. And and there's buffalo wings. And by the way, on the, the, on the cover of Parade magazine. Uh, dot com. Uh, our hundred calorie pizza was on there. A hundred calorie pizza. Ooh. Yeah. And then we have stuffed cherry tomatoes. These beautiful little tomatoes with stuffed guacamole. With I mean, just hundred calories each. I mean, for four. You can have ten chocolate covered yummy pretzels. Hundred calories. Huh. It's amazing lemon bar. That that just it's so satisfying. 100 calories. This amazing mini cheesecake that's so dense and delicious with all the toppings, 100 calories. All these amazing appetizers for the Super Bowl and the chili. That's awesome. So that's you can go stuff. there. You can get all these appetizers. Fill up, fill up your plate, and you'll, you'll know exactly your calorie count, and you will be so darn satisfied. It will be. It's not like you're denying yourself anything, and that's the problem with with these diets and all. That's why it never ever works. We're into, we 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 do it because we want we're vain and we want to like lose weight and we want to look good, but it's so unsatisfying, and you can't keep it up. You just can't keep it keep it up. Eventually, you're going to go back to to compulsive eating. You're just going to. Right. The perfect portion cookbook. You never ever will go back to that again ever. And with the, success, with the success of this book, we're going to have a consistent amount of books coming out. We want to uh, expand it into a major website where you can go on there, like Taste of Home or All Recipes, any of those things, and, and get all these thousands of recipes in exact 100-calorie portion control. And we also want to go into the marketplace with frozen foods with exact pre-cut 100-calorie portions. Wow. But the important That'd thing is huge. to make sure those portions, even though it says 100 calories, we design the recipe where you can enlarge the portion in a healthy way and still have the same satisfying taste you expect. So when you say when when we recommend a 300 calorie entree, a 400 calorie entree, you know, which 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 is part of your 1800 calorie day, it is it is like beyond satisfying. You're not, you never feel you've limited your food intake. You never feel you've limited you, you, the, the joy of eating. You never feel you've limited, you know, you, you, the you know taste of your, the great taste in your life. And that was the whole goal of this book. And man, 
it works. That's awesome. That's good stuff. This is got to be an yeah. exciting time for you. It is exciting. But it's exciting. But it's just exciting to be part of You know, it's always nice to there's something in your head, mm-hmm. and it manifests itself into reality. And, and it's something that's, that's bigger than you, more right. important than you. And, and honestly, even in entertainment, it feels great to, to have been part of a show like Happy Days. And, and honestly, I tell people a small part. I mean, I played one character of a show that had many, many talented people involved to make it work, right? I was one part of it. And it's nice to know, well, at least long after I'm gone, I'm sure people will still be laughing and, and, and giving a little joy to people, you know, right? because you were here. Same with the product business. Long after I'm gone, it's nice to know that there's, there's going to be something here that's going to improve people's lives, you know, long after I'm gone. And yeah, that, I mean, you know, honestly, that and that that makes life a joy to me. I, you you did leave a, a major mark in many people's lives, mine included. You <laughs> really, and not just by uh, meeting you at Shore Theater, but way before that. <laughs> well, that, well, and but and again, I, you know, and I love that, but I'm just a minor part of what it took to put that show on the air. Now. When when people do ask you about Happy Days, how many times do they ask you to sing Pump Up Your Blood? Oh, my God. All the time. And you know what? And, and, and I can't remember those words. That, that show was a nightmare. Because, <laughs> no, they had this show, and then they asked Jimmy Dunn, who's this brilliant composer. He was also our associate producer at the time. And, and his and lyric partner was Liz Bradley. And he was trying to make it as a songwriter, which he, be, he became a major songwriter, by the way. But okay. they said, well, we need a song about, we, we need a song, Pump Your Blood, but it has to be accurate. So, <laughs> we're sh- no, excuse me, we're filming the show Friday night. And I'm waiting for the song, and I'm waiting for the song. Thursday morning, I pre-record it. Could you, even, even reading it was hard to, like, get through it. Right? <laughs> Could you imagine memorizing the words for playback Friday night? Oh. Could you imagine? <laughs> I had cue cards everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Oh, I mean, that, yeah, and you, you had to be a scientist to like to, to sing that song. Yeah, so, yes. I couldn't tell you any of the words except for the pump up your blood part. I mean, that I part know, just stuck I know. in my head it for was, years. I had flop sweat from here to Japan. <laughs> uh, it was, I'll never forget that night. How the heck am I going to get through this? But I did, and, 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 and then when it was over, I thought, oh, it's over. Well, it's not over because it's, it's become iconic, right? Right, right. And then, and then, you know? and then, um, the aspirin company goes and buys the song to, for their commercial, and that started it all over again. <laughs> did you know, like, going into that, like, uh, was it, like, did, did you were going to be singing, like, as much as you did throughout the show? I, well, I created that. The, the, I, uh-huh. I, I sold Gary on creating a, uh, on putting a band on the show and letting me sing. Because uh, way back okay. then, oh, no, way back then, we weren't paid like stars of today. Right. And I've always been one to see what you have, not what you don't have. Okay. And I knew David Cassidy did well on Parch's Family and Ricky Nelson on Ozzy and Harriet. And I thought, if I could sing on the show, I could probably get a record deal and I probably could get, like, outside appearances and, like, make some money. Uh-huh. And I convinced Gary to put a band on the show. And it actually gave me my, my first responsibility outside of acting. I was in charge of, of what I sang. Oh, nice. And uh, anyway, it, it created a whole other career for me. So, um, Which you still do that today. Was, uh, I mean, you was, still do a lot that of was, no, that's, that. Again, that's taking advantage of your platform and not right. complaining about, oh, I'm not making any money. Well, so, well, figure out how you can, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Who would have thought? Who would have I mean... You, I mean, sadly, you got portrayed as like uh, the goofy potsy character, but uh, well, that's another later, reason for the band. The uh, band made potsy goofy and then sexy, then goofy then sexy. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like someone, uh, like someone asked years ago, "Oh, Anson, Anson, you know, wh- wh- what's the key to, to to like 
having girls love you. Now, this comes from me because, you know, three weeks before Happy Days aired, I'm fighting for a date like anyone else. Happy Days goes on the air. All, all of a sudden, you're hot, right? Right, right. I, and I said, it's really, really easy. Really, tell me, I said, get on a hit television show and sing. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> problem solved. Problem <laughs> solved. Oh, too funny. What, what was your yep. favorite Happy Days uh, episode? Actually, my favorite was um, the one where Don Most uh, crashed up hen- with the Fonz's bike. Oh, okay. <laughs> that I I thought that that I thought that was hysterical. That's I, that my favorite episode of all time. I just howled. Ah, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Now, how about your cho- Like, what do your children think when they go back and see those episodes of you? You know, it's so funny. My kids. Um, they haven't seen very many, and it's like they're just not involved in that world, and I keep them away really? from it. Yeah, I, I really keep them away where dad's dad, you know, dad's dad, and, and as a dad, do this for me, dad, do that for me, dad. That's our, that's our purpose. That's our responsibility. Right. They don't really have, they don't really understand, at least the ones at home, what, we, <laughs> what their dad actually did years before and and how popular we were they don't understand it and they don't have to my older daughter does she's 26 but i already have two grandkids and you know she has her life going but the but my kids no and i keep i i I keep them away from it because i have a i've always lived by this rule you're in it you're in it meaning no matter what we want to do in life you want to be you want to have a great radio show you want to be a great radio host you want to be successful and that's very important you know, mm-hmm. I want to. I have all these accomplishments I want to do, and I, very important. I, I really want to do it. Oh, I'm driven to do it. And we're in it. Never, ever be of it. It's what you do. It's not who you are. Wow. The minute you're of it, you're in trouble. Huh. So, I I live my life by that. So happy days, Potsy. I love it. I'm so glad I was able to create that character. I'm so glad I had that opportunity to educate myself and become a director. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to become an entrepreneur, and I am in it. But you know, it's not who I am. None of it's who I am. Not a bit of right. it. I don't hide wow. behind it. Right. So that's and with my kids, I I I I, I brush it off. You know, I, it's it's not it is not that important. You know. Now the funny thing is now with me. Like, if I'm flipping channels and I see Happy Days is on, I'll make, like, my daughter sit with me because I learned such incredible life lessons. And I, know. I thought Mr. and Mrs. C were the perfect parents. And I had oh, them sit God. and watch it with me. Yes. And, I, and you know, and, and I, that's why the show is so successful. There's something there that connects just with everybody, young right. and old. It's Different if you're starring in it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I you bet. know, it, it then all becomes, oh, Dad, that you, it, it, it's like we're getting away from the story. <laughs> yeah. And we're getting yeah. way involved in the celebrity part of it, which I don't want to get into with them, you know? Right. So, but I agree. No, it's Gary Marshall, had, 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 our creator and our leader, had such insight to human nature and the importance of family, priority and all that. And and it all it all came through on that show. Yeah, it did. It did. You know, and and it's and it's a, and, and, and 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 the show was old when it aired, right? It was about a period, right. and that period is will always be part of America. So the show will always be old and never be old. It will always be current to who wants who who connects with the right. magic of the show. You know, it's there's nothing. It's it's a for, it's a foreverness that that Gary created. That's the truth. That is the truth. Wow. Yeah. So all right. So uh, so the so the book is actually out then. Well, the or book you can pre-order. The book, yeah, the book launches on QVC this Sunday. Okay. Uh, and and then uh, the book and and it's on Amazon, of course, dot com. Oh. But you okay. can go to the perfect portion cook. You can, you know, excuse me. You can go to the perfect portion. dot com, 
and actually save money before Sunday if you pre-order it. You got to love so, that. Yeah. They're all printed. They're all ready to go. So, And and, and honestly, it's it's been fantastic. I've been fortunate to, to in being able to do quite a bit of promotion. Mm-hmm. And, boy, the book's selling like crazy. That's awesome. So, and I, I, when I look at a sale, I look at a family or, a, or an individual that's going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> like you. Well, well, I'm going to be happy, and I already am happy because I got to talk to you finally again. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is very exciting. And I love, like I said, I love the whole uh, idea. I think it's brilliant because it's the truth, and that's the best part about it. Yeah, I think, I think we've answered – we, we've not answered. I th- yeah, I think we've solved the problem. Right. You know, eat with, and, and basically eat what you love and never overeat. Right, exactly. And that's exactly. this book in perfect 100-calorie portions, something everybody understands. And right. recipes, recipes that are so darn simple, you know, you don't have, you don't have to go to, you know, a, a cooking school to, to be able to do them. Right. Because trust me, I'm I, I'm no expert, and if I can do it, you can do it. And I'm a, and so, people think and people people taste these recipes, and and they they they, they, they you look you're like a hero, you know. <laughs> I say nothing. Uh, I say nothing. <laughs> that's awesome. Anson is the hero. Cooking hero. Cooking hero. <laughs> yeah. Well. It, Anson, this has been uh, this has been great, and uh, yeah, I'll hit up Harlan, and hopefully I'll see you Sunday, and we'll yeah, keep up Harlan, book for and, you. Yeah, that'd be great. It was and so I, cool I too on the show. Recipes. We're gonna have about twenty twenty of the recipes on air. Awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. And you can even very, try very some of them. Yeah, oh, cool. Very good. I'm good at that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good at that too. That was my. Really, my my ba- I, I kind of wrote the funny stuff of the book, right, and and basically tasted everything. I was, I, that was my job. What do you think, Anson? Tastes really good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's a hard going. job. Someone has to do it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Cool. Well, before I let you go, can I just get you to cut a quick ID for me? Sure. What would you like? Uh, this is Anson Williams, and you're listening to Totally Driven Radio. Okay. All right, ready? Go for it. Hey there, this is Anson Williams, and you're listening to the fantastic Totally Driven Radio. Awesome. Anson, thank you again so much. Oh, you bet. And we'll see you Sunday. Absolutely. Hey, can, All right. can you give Say us a pump wife. up your blood for us? Can you, can you give us a pump up your blood for us? Pump, 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 and that's off key, but what do you want, you know? Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anton. All right, bro. Bye bye. All right, take care. Bye. Okay, bye. All right, there he goes. The one, the only, Mr. Anson Williams. Check out that cookbook. It looks incredible, and I can't wait to be trying them recipes out of there. It's called The Perfect Portion. Go to theperfectportion.com. You can order it on there, and you get to save money before Sunday's official launch on QVC. So go, 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 and then you get to eat, eat, eat. All right, everybody. Wow. Yeah. Pump, 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 pump. How about that? <laughs> I got him to do it. That, that, <laughs> uh, Welcome and our to next my gift, new ringtone. <laughs> uh, oh, we're in, uh, Cole just hung up. Yo, Cole, come back. <laughs> 